What's up guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you a very quick run through of Black Fathom Deeps, what decks might work pretty well for Alliance this week. So um, I'm going to be zooming through these pretty quick, just want to kind of give you the highlights. So uh, I like this uh, Stone Hoof Torrent a lot for this map, for this map especially, but uh, other maps it works pretty well too, like uh, the third map especially. Um, because these Ogre Magis are everywhere, it's just, it's just a very solid unit for this uh this thing. I tried some footmen earlier that wasn't really working. And um, Griffin is actually pretty nice too. Any kind of ranged unit is going to be necessary for, uh, I, sh I shouldn't say just ranged unit, um, anti-air unit is going to be nice for map 2, which is probably the hardest level. This level is somewhat difficult sometimes. Um, you got to handle these murlocs that come from the east side there. They outrange your tower, one of them does at least, so you have to deal with that like either by safe piloting, um, on top of them as they come up. Uh, there's a handful of places where safe pilot are actually pretty good though. The uh, two murlocs on the top left, like you see there, and the top right, they're kind of like out of your pathing. So you can actually take those out with safe piloting directly on them or throwing well pegs on the top right guys works as well. That will uh, take out those two. And they, they will respawn after about a minute, but um, they, you can see they just kind of free cast up there, so we're putting those well up. Well, bugs up there that will take them out for a good bit. We're gonna go fast down. Just uh, we already have this tower. We're just gonna push in. Uh, don't need to take more of your time than necessary. Just taking this tower because we wanna. You don't have to do that by any means. And then watch this really bad safe pilot. That's not where to put it. But if you put about a little bit less than that, it's gonna actually take out both those uh, guys on the top. So um, that's just a miss, misclick, misplay. So we're really close now, might as well just kind of throw some stuff on them, go all in, get them. Alright, on to map 2. In my opinion, this is the most dangerous map. I shouldn't say it's difficult, but it is dangerous. They have Banshees, and they have uh, the Gargoyles, which come a lot. So you need, to, you need to handle the Gargoyles, which Harpies absolutely do well. They melt them, but you have to make sure that you have them up when they come, because they will spawn from like, the left a lot. I stay in this middle path the entire time. I uh, really don't bother with going to the left unless sometimes uh, your ranged, or I'm sorry, your flying units kind of have to go there because they took out like uh, the gargoyle or other flying units over there. So the whole goal here is basically get your get your harpies or your DPS going through the middle and then distracting behind with either Quillbore or Earth Elemental, something like that. Uh, didn't really work out that well, but. Um, that's kind of the goal. I mean, we did a third, almost a half of its life by, by that push, so not too bad. This Banshee is always a problem. I swear it hits at the wrong time every time. Uh, just a really bad placement there, too. Alright, not playing this very well, but here we are. This is, uh, it says it's red, but it's actually orange level. I don't know, I'm having something messed up with my deck levels. It says, like, I'm level. I'm lower level uh, than I actually am. It says 19.6. These cards are not average level 19.6. So I don't know. We're probably pretty equal level here, I'd say. Ish. Yeah. Just just watch out for that gargoyle. Keep pushing. Uh, we're gonna go fast here till it wins. I think this one's about an overtime when it hits. So gotta just. Only real danger is that. Uh, is that gargoyle there? So, gotta gotta take that out. And the rest of the time is just just pushing, trying to trying to get your final strike in. It should be faster than this. Like, I, I just didn't really have good good pushes in there. But um, at a certain point, when you have them to third life, quarter life, and you know you're taking out your gargoyles, fine. You can always uh, just kind of throw your throw your unbounds in right on them. You'll start chipping them away. That's kind of what I'm doing now. Gargoyle down. It's nice when they put them in the middle. It's it's less nice when they put them down south, but that does happen quite a bit too. All right, there we go. We finally got finally got our harpies in and a little bit of a little bit of damage here. All right, map three. This one, it's it seems difficult because it's kind of long, but every phase is actually pretty easy. It just takes a long time. So if you don't do it, if you don't do it that quick, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. But uh, Stonehoof Torrent works really good against Murlocs. It warps all over the place. I wish it didn't hit that guy, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, 
the, you always want to start by taking this guy out on the left and taking this tower out. That helps a lot for uh, taking out other dudes who come. Um, and it's a decent spawn spot too. But other dudes that come from uh, the west that will help shoot those things down. So the, the, the start is a little bit difficult here. You have to definitely make sure you're, you're dealing with it. Um, but uh, we want to still deal with this as quickly as possible because we really, really don't have a lot of time to take out all three dragons here, or drakes, three serpents, whatever they are. Um, and then that waterfall will fall, and then you have to take out three more. So it does take, like, multiple pushes to get this thing done. Because they're all on different paths, too. Like, you have to go this way, then you have to go right, and then you have to go across the bridge. It's, it's all a whole thing. All right, well, we took the tower in the first one. That's the, that's the step one. Step two is this guy on the right. Like I said, all these guys are actually pretty easy. Um, you, just have to, you just have to deal with it, so trying to figure out how to do that now. You can see our tower that we took is is being helpful there by just shooting some stuff. Another good place to uh, deploy like your safe pilot is on top of that bridge and it will help shoot down uh, if they ever are coming at that tower. It also well pegs underneath that bridge is also nice because when they pop they'll actually go up above that bridge. So as a misclick on that uh, on that button. If you if you send anything down there, it worked out because they sent stuff through, but they'll if they walk into that waterfall they're gonna instantly die. So you definitely wanna send those to the left for the most part until uh, that waterfall goes down, which will happen as soon as we take out this dude here. Yeah, this is kind of my first first time playing today. I got up early to make this video and it's St. Patty's Day today, so going out with some buddies this should be a good time. So just wanted to get this out before doing all that. So now that last guy's dead, the rest of it they stay asleep till they get hit. So optimally, you could say just focus all on the right one first, or focus all on the left one first. But just throw your stuff. Like win the gold battle, take that gold down south. Still take these chests. You're just gonna overwhelm them and swarm pretty quick. And if you can put your like tanks deep and let your DPS go, you know. You can see how quickly these guys are kind of going down with just a pretty mediocre random random push. So other units that might be good it would be Banshee for map two. Um, I probably would if I did this again, if I pushed a little further, I'd probably go Banshee uh, in place of I don't know, maybe Griffin. Um, it's just hard to say. If you have another tank that you like over Stonehoof, that could work. I tried Footman, that did not work uh, very well. So, yeah, this is a good good start, and uh, it's a pretty easy map this, uh, this week. So give it a shot, and you'll do all right. All right, good luck.